If we're talking growth mindset, then challenge is right at the heart of that. If I want to get into a growth mindset, I need to challenge myself. The more I challenge myself, the more likely I am to see the benefit of being in a growth mindset, seeing that I can grow, feeling that this is worth it. So for me, it, 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 growth and challenge are so interlinked almost as if they're two sides of the same coin. In the same way that you have different attitudes toward challenge when you're in different mindsets, so a challenge is welcome in one mindset, a challenge is threatening in another mindset. Um, the presence of a challenge itself can trigger you into a mindset. Maybe you're going along thinking, I can grow, I can learn, but then you're way out of your comfort zone and you say, uh-oh, maybe I'm not good at this. Maybe I can't really improve. I'll always be bad at this. So a big challenge can sometimes trigger a fixed mindset. But if you can stay in your growth mindset, you can remember, no, 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 this is good for me. This is the time my brain can form new, stronger connections and I'll get smarter. My wife's granddad lived till he was 94 years old. And what he called his secret um, was that he kept his brain active every single day. He always studied the horse racing. He always worked out the forms and he did lots and lots and lots of puzzles, keeping his brain active. And it's a part of that. This is getting my brain going. That's not a bad thing. This is a good thing. I'm making my brain hurt in a good way, in the way that when we get hooked on exercise, it makes you hurt in a good way. And it's how do we build that? And those who are not used to it don't like it to begin with. And we've got to be gentle with them. We've got to hold their hands with them. And we keep slowly but surely encouraging them, encouraging them, encouraging them.